What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival, and today I got another wild edible for you, and this is the uh, pawpaw. And the pawpaw is one of the largest uh, native fruits in the United States. Um, you know, a lot of, you know, apples, orange, all, all that kind of stuff, a lot of them were brought over, but this is one of the largest, actually. Uh, a lot of Native Americans lived off these. This is uh, found in the eastern woodlands. Uh, a lot in the southeast and um, it also was a favorite meal for uh, our favorite uh, treat for George Washington and Thomas Jefferson they actually really love chill pawpaws now they really enjoy uh, a good rich soil uh, you find them a lot of times on a stream in the stream beds they are a understory plant, meaning that they're under, you know, the canopy of, you know, the larger trees. Uh, they're kind of small, and the weight of the fruit, like you see this cluster here, uh, will bring those branches down. Now, sometimes you'll find single ones like this on trees. I found this singly, and then sometimes you'll find huge clusters like this. Now, their leaves, they have huge leaves, and that's because they are understory trees, so all the other you know, larger trees are getting the, you know, majority of sunlight, so they have to have these large leaves to capture that sunlight as an understory plant. But you can see it's a huge teardrop shaped leaf. It's what it looked like. Now these uh, are kind of, uh, you know, they're not really ripe quite yet. Um, the best time to find them is end of August, uh, you know, September, fall time, in the summer, fall time. And you do really have to fight for them because animals love them. Deer, squirrels, all that kind of stuff. I mean, they'll eat them up. Um, I actually uh, found a ton of them, uh, this, you know, this cluster and a few of them that were not disturbed. But I told tell you, I had to check a bunch of trees to find these. Um, it was probably one out of 10. So uh, you can tell they're still kind of green. Once they start getting dark, they do bruise these. You can see some bruising on here. Uh, once they start getting, you know, like a darkish brownish yellow color, that's when they're really good to go. But uh, anyhow, we'll take a closer look up, cut them in half, and, and show you guys. So, pawpaws, they can be eaten raw or cooked. And basically, you want to get them green like this and let them sit out for a few days and before you really start eating them. But it kind of has a custard inside has these huge seeds there yeah kind of custardy texture it's really good it tastes like a cross between um like a banana and uh you know uh some kind of uh some kind of tropical fruit so but you can see these seeds in here, and actually, uh, it's kind of funny. In Ohio, uh, records you know show, or you know, history shows that a lot of Ohioans carried these in their pocket, these seeds in their pocket, for like a token of good luck. So that's what it looks like, guys. Pawpaws. Like I said, you can eat them raw or cooked. Um, they're delicious. You know, I, I get them whenever I find them, and and I'll throw them in the kitchen and, and eat them whenever. Uh, you know, they turn ripe and, and enjoy them. You know, it's uh, free food. So, you, like you said, you're in a survival situation, it don't matter, man. I'd eat it green, uh, whatever, you know. So, uh, you got to do whatever you got to do. So, but anyhow, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Um, please make sure, you know, as with any wild edible, make sure you consult with a local uh, expert. And uh, please subscribe to our channel. We put out a few new videos every week. And as always, thanks for watching.